welcome again in this tutorial we will see CACPHP breadcrumb so let us start so this is the documentation that CACPHP has provided for breadcrumb you can see that uh, here in CACPHP uh, they have a helper called breadcrumbs I just provided this link in my video description so you can go and see the documentation so this helper we will execute in our uh, application so you can see that I already uh, make this design and just copy and paste it from getbootstrap.com so this is the breadcrumb design static design and I will make it dynamic I already given the source code in video description you can download the source code so let us start I'm just going in my opening my VS code editor opening in my source opening my view opening app view.php and here you can see uh, a load helper method you will use it for load our breadcrumb helper I'm just removing this from here and giving a single code and here pasting this breadcrumbs after save I'm going in here reload the base and I'm going to check that breadcrumb breadcrumbs has loaded. So for that I'm going here the CAC and going in the view. And here you can see that this helper breadcrumb in here. That means uh, it has loaded. So now we will execute our code in here for dynamic this breadcrumb. So going in my uh, I'm just closing this app view and going in my default uh, layout that I'm using in here so for this layout I think you remember that uh, we are using a layout called uh, blog layout so I'm just going in my uh, layout so layout in templates and this is the layout and this is the blog.php so this layout I am using for front end and this is the design that I have used in here so if you if you uh, not want to copy it from get bootstrap or if you don't want uh, if you're not uh, finding my link then you can just copy and paste it from here or write you write your hand code from here so this is the code so it I will make this dynamic so for that I'm going in CACPHP documentation first and here what I'm going to do there is actually two method we will use one is called add method for add your cram uh, the uh, cramps that we are using and another is here the render so we will render the cramps that means bread cramps after uh, add then we will display using this render method so I'm just going to copy this line from here the bread cram bread cramps and render and copy this line and paste it in here I'm going to give a PHP tag first PHP tag PHP tag and removing this uh, whole bunch of code from here just given this line that calls this breadcrumbs render method so after save nothing will happen because so we not added our crumbs so so we have to use this uh, uh, that's called breadcrumbs add method so uh, we are now in uh, so we have to go in this page that we are using this this front end page so our front end page that we are using uh, that's called blocks controller i think this is the blocks controller and this is the home page this home page actually comes from this layout, uh, this code. Uh, in this in this page, I'm going in by top, giving a PHP tag like that, and giving here the PHP tag in the PHP tag, and going to paste, copy and paste this line. So here I'm just changing the name here the products this is the title name actually and this is a action controller and action that means the link 
So here I'm giving the, uh, it's a home page, so I'm just giving the home and controller will be blogs. An action will be, let's call home. So after save, if you go and reload your page, you can see the home in here. But I know that uh, you are not seeing the design like that, but we will do it very soon. So let's go in next page. For example, if when you click here, you are going in another page called view, blocks view. But here you can see the, uh, you are not seeing the uh, dynamic uh, uh, breadcrumbs in here. So for that, I'm going in my view page. This is the view page. And in here, in top, I'm giving the PHP tag and ending my PHP tag in here. And you can see in documentation, they have another option. You can add multiple multiple link uh, in using array like that in add method. So I'm just copy and paste it from here to here. Then first link that will be the home. And second link that will be the view that that page we are in view page like that, and that will be the blocks controller. That will be the same the blocks controller. And the action will be index. Uh, it will be home. And second one will be view. It's okay, it's because we will go in view page, and then in here we will send the article uh, ID. Or if you send in your view, you can send any ID that you are using like that. It's just an example. And I'm just uh, giving here the procedure that how we can use, create the breadcrumbs. So after go, then you can also uh, give the article uh, title in here like that. This is the concatenation that needs to be there. Okay. So after save, if you go in view page now, now hit on enter, you are seeing something like that view, and this is the title in here also. So now when you will click in home, it will go in home. So I'm just going in here and click here, you are seeing the same page. So what we'll do now, we have to give our uh, design our link like that, like this. Okay. So for that, we have to use the CAC PHP set template. So you can go in here. You can see that this is the templates. It's actually old documentation. They still not updated their documentation in version four. You can see the version four, but uh, this method will be set templates. Okay, so we have to use the set template. So how we will use this? I'm just copy this line from here and going to paste it uh, before the render. So in blocks.php, that means in our layout, I'm just going in top of our top of our that trend and just copy and paste it in here. So before the rand, I'm using it. So now you can see this is the wrapper. So here the wrapper, the same thing, the nap plus breadcrumb. I'm just removing it and copy and paste it in here. And second thing, it is uh, order list and here it is on order list. I'm just removing this UL to UL in here. And second, they have used a class in here. I'm just copy it and paste it in here. So after save, if you go and reload your page, you know, uh, oh, sorry, that will be the set template. Set templates. This is the version four, the set templates. And then reload again. You are seeing something like that. So now if you go in view page, you will see something like that. So we, we need to uh, need this design, that means this uh, backslash like that. So this design we have to include in here. So for that, uh, I'm just going to add another thing that's called the item, this item. We need to design our list. So for that, I'm just copy it and paste it in here. Okay, so this is the line that I have just copy and pasted in here and we will do it the same thing. I'm just copy this line from here like that and I will just paste it in here like that. So after save, 
if you go now and reload your page again you'll see the same design like that okay so it's actually this is a simple tutorial how to execute uh, your breadcrumbs uh, helper in your uh, code so i'm just removing this line now removing this or just commenting this okay then now go 